Asian man is given a tour of hell. Kindly subscribe to learn the secrets of the afterlife. I was born into a Buddhist family and am very disciplined in the values of life. When I turned 18, I lived alone because I got a job. I devoted myself to reading many books. One day I saw a book in the showcase called, The Divine Revelation of Hell. In Buddhist culture, there was no mention in this matter. The book caught my attention, I bought that book to be part of my collection. It was the only evangelical book I had. I started to read that book and I became afraid. Something in my heart said that hell is real. I felt great repentance for my sins. When anyone spoke of God to me, the name of Buddha came into my mind. But after I finished reading the book, I came to believe in Jesus. I've never been to a church before. It is very rare to find an open church in my country that is dominated by Islam and Buddhism. I discovered that life and peace are to be in the way of Jesus. The life of freedom that young people have here in Malaysia is poison to their souls. This causes spiritual death and a great emptiness, making them lose the true meaning of life. Life is Jesus, who loses it is losing the source of life. Whoever departs from this path has already lost his life and enters a stage of torment and tribulation of the soul. There is no peace, only uncertainty, an illusion of the world. Discouragement of life came into my heart because of the difficulties I had in living alone. Evil things came into my head for me to use drugs and drink alcohol. But that book of divine revelation gave me hope. I did not have a Bible, but the word of the book had an effect on my heart and penetrated the bottom of my soul. The wall of evil desires fell, opening a crack in my heart. I made the first prayer and the effect of the presence of God was greater. I did not even know how to pray and for the first time I knelt before a God that my people did not accept, but that is the only one true. After the prayer, I gave my life to Jesus and went to sleep. I had the first revelation in a dream. Jesus began to speak to me in a dream and to pass on his revelation. In the dream, I was in a dark place where there was no light. A voice from heaven said, this place is the country that does not have Jesus. I walked through this place and found nothing. I could hear only the roar of a lion. I was desperate for not being able to walk since there was no light and I could not see anything. That lion jumped on top of me and scratched my arm. The lion was not like those of Africa. The lion was black and in the dark, I could only see his eyes. Some greater force would not let that lion tear me apart. The most he could do was scratch me. I walked in that darkness, stumbled and fell to the ground. I got up and continued to walk in search of the light. I wanted to find a place where there is light to hide from that lion. I just wanted to get out of that darkness for not having a defense against that lion's attacks. I could not see and did not even know where the attacks came from that lion. He just did not kill me because Jesus protected me. Being in that place I was defenseless and vulnerable to that lion's attacks. I got out of that darkness and entered a place where there was light. In that clarity, I could see perfectly. When I least expected it, the beast was there near me. He had followed me and I could see that beast that had scratched me so much. It was not the lion I thought was roaring. In the darkness I could only hear, I could not see clearly. What really was the beast? A black tiger with two heads and a serpent's venom. That place of light revealed to me who the beast was that attacked me without stopping. The light of God opens the spiritual eyes for us to see our enemy truly. The light reveals the evil that is hidden in the darkness. When that beast realized that I could see perfectly and that his plans could not be hidden anymore, the beast tried to devour me alive and jumped on me to attack me. But this time I managed to dodge its claws. I was no longer in the dark place that kept me from seeing the beast. When the light of God opens my eyes, the devil becomes furious and tries to kill me. But whoever is in the light is vigilant against the onslaught of Satan. The beast insisted on hurting me until a sword appeared near me. I was tired of running away from that beast and I took the sword to face it. Escaping from the devil and his difficulties is not the solution. We have to face the problems head on with faith in Jesus. The word says resist the devil and he will flee from you. Who has to flee is not you but the devil. I could not live to run away forever and with courage like David, I confronted the devil. That sword that appeared to me motivated me to fight. I fought that beast and managed to strike him with a death blow that made him die. That sword is the word of God that we use to overcome the devil. I got rid of that beast and I went my way. 
I woke up in the morning and did not understand the meaning because I was not a spiritual Christian. Today I understand that the dark world was the way I walked. That beast was a devil who grieved and oppressed my life. The place of light I found is the way of Jesus. And the sword that appeared to me was a missionary from Denmark who brought me a Bible. The fury of Satan as I find the place of light means that our spiritual enemy has been revealed. My fight with the beast was the spiritual battle I had. The demon manifested in my father who is a Buddhist and tried to kill me. I cast out his demon and gained his soul for Jesus. I won the souls of the young people in my village. A strong persecution happened against my village, but it has calmed down. All this was my fight with the beast. I have overcome the beast in the dream, and have overcome those who persecuted me. The Christian who came from Denmark gave me an English Bible. He gave me a sword that made me win. I translated the English Bible into my language through the internet and made a second Bible. The devil bothered me for being the only Christian in the village. I was the danger to his plans. He wanted to destroy me so I would not multiply more Christians. That territory is Buddhist and he does not want the truth that saves souls in his lands to be born. Satan walks like a lion roaring for someone to swallow. Whoever turns away from the light, approaches the darkness. They are those who turn away from Jesus and approach the world. Whoever turns away from the truth approaches the fall and falls into the depths of the abyss, where he does not have the light of Jesus. I approached Jesus and his light shone on me. I began to pray and meditate on each verse. The word of God has gradually built me up. Only thus did I escape from the dark lion who seeks easy prey to act upon and devour. If the flame goes out, this lion of darkness will approach. Demons roar around those who are in darkness. The missionary who gave the Bible took me to his country. He said that in Denmark he was more able to teach and prepare a believer. In my country, there are millions of Buddhist books and the conditions for teaching the gospel are precarious. I traveled with this brother to learn more about the word of God. I have prayed and absorbed the word of God. Jesus has broken down the barriers in my life and won over me. I was in Denmark doing the work with the missionary. One day I came from a gospel meeting and it was 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I was feeling strong headaches. I went to sleep and went into a deep sleep. An hour later I was standing and saw my body lying down. A darkness began to walk towards me and invaded the house. A closed black tunnel appeared in front of me. This tunnel opened and an evil force pulled me inside. This place looked like a placenta in the shape of a perfect circle. And he was molding himself like a wax of chewing gum. This placenta has life and feeds on souls. That place grew in size both in length and breadth. The place filled up like a bladder and held a great capacity for souls. A hideous monster with a disgusting appearance said, I have a divine order not to hurt you. I will show you how the laws are here in hell for all of your residents. The monster took me to various places in hell. I was too afraid to be with him. That monster has a big eye on his forehead. His body was filled with eyes that guarded that place. One of those eyes on his back winked at me. He has ears on his back and over his shoulders. He has noses scattered all over his body that came out secretions. This monster stank a lot. Evil thoughts. We entered the first room of the hell that is part of the torture house. The monster said, here are all those who had evil thoughts while they were on earth. They did not stop thinking about evil and died in their sins. Torturing demons opened their skulls and ripped people's brains out and fed on those evil thoughts. Pornography. The monster took me to the second house. Torturing demons with hot iron pierced people's eyes. The monster said, these people are those who watch television, pornographic content on websites, magazines, and books. The monster looked at me and said, your eyes are evil. They're on earth, you looked at sensual women. And if you do not crucify those evil eyes, when you die you will be in this room and your eyes will be pierced eternally. When the monster said that, I was very scared. Sinful ears. The monster took me to the third room of hell. He said, everyone in this room used their ears to hear our voice and did everything we told them. They also heard our gospel and did our will. The demons pierced people's ears and then plucked them out they grabbed people's ears and fried in a giant frying pan. The monster said, these people here are listening to songs that are not Christian. Here are Christians listening to our songs. All the songs that praise the world, the money, the woman, and the riches are ours. Any song that does not praise God belongs to us. 
The demons pushed a hot red hot iron into the ears of the people who passed the other side. Games and gambling. The monster took me to the fourth room of hell. It has all the adult and children's games like chess, lady, deck, dominoes, machine games, and lottery houses. People who are tortured there are addicted to games. I saw kids addicted to games in that room. Demons cut off the hands of gambling addicts. The monster said, here are Christians addicted to our entertainment games. Some of them spent their money on bets. Evil hearts. The monster took me into the fifth room. I saw cauldrons full of human hearts in boiling lava. The monster said, these hearts that are from the cauldrons are evil and have kept desires and thoughts sinful. When you climb the earth do not keep anything bad in your heart from coming here. The people in that room had no hearts. In the place of the heart, there was only one empty hole. Dancing and drinking. The monster took me to the sixth room. It's a dance hall that looked like a showroom. The reality is that the show in that room did not look the same on earth. All the people were forced to dance on the nails of coals. Every step on the nails the blood gushed. The drunks were seated in the chair that held them so they would not leave. They all drank acids that melted their throats. All alcoholic drinks are acid in hell. Prostitution. The monster took me to the seventh room. There it is a brothel where the demons force effeminate men and women to have sex with them. Everything they did on earth the demons did to them in hell. Disobedience. The monster took me to the eighth room. There are all the young people who are punished for disobeying their parents. The demons had flaming steel whips and harassed these teens. The monster said, these boys did not obey their parents. They did not accept their authorities. They did not understand their parents and argued back. The parents were dishonored by rebellious children. Magic, clowns, jokes. The monster took me into the eighth room. And there are all the magicians and illusionists being tortured. I saw circus clowns being tortured. They are there for making the image of God in the image of a clown. Those who do magic and tricks are there too. The monster said, any joke that deceives and deceives people is ours. Books, magazines, newspapers. The monster took me to the ninth room. There are all the people who have been deceived by books, magazines, and newspapers. Inside that room is a newsstand. The monster said, our lie is scattered across the newsagents of the earth. And everyone who buys these materials is wasting their time and should be reading the Bible. We create these stalls to distract and steal their time. Look at the lie of the novels in the magazines. Newspapers are a lie to sell. Magazines do incentive advertisements to see the next chapters of the novels. Comics. The monster took me in the 10th room. To my surprise, it only had children from 5 to 10 years old. The demons tormented all the children. I saw how from inside the head of these children it caught fire and smoked. The monster showed comics and manga story comics. The monster said, the people of the land saw these comic books as harmless. But it is in these comic books that our doctrines are. We have won many children through comic books and drawings. All those who are tortured by demons have been deceived by magazines, books, and newspapers. In this room, there are toys like dolls, plastic superheroes, and female dolls. Those toys made life, they looked like they were possessed, and they laughed. The monster said, here is the childish idolatry that we implant inside the homes. We have created the world's super-saving heroes to indoctrinate children. Their memories of the true savior of their souls disappear. They prefer comic heroes that do not exist instead of that hero who gave up his life to save mankind. This is our lie we bring from the fictional world to every child. Martial Arts The monster took me to the 11th room. There are all martial artists, no matter the mode of fighting. An octagon, perhaps a tatami or ring. I do not know the name, but it's a fighter's place. The demons played the fighters in that ring and said, let's fight. The demons punched them flying upwards. The demons tortured the samurai fighters. They were cut down by demons using swords. I watched as they cut off the heads, legs, arms and other pieces that were scattered around the room. Fire poured from the floor of the room and burned the bodies. Bruce Lee. The monster took me out of the house of terror and we started walking through hell. The monster said, I will show you an old idol who you loved so much. He took me to a place where I saw the fighter, Bruce Lee. He was my favorite actor. One of the greatest martial arts instructors of his time. Before my conversion, I watched his films. 
I liked him very much and if I were alive I wanted to meet him. When he died I was one year old. I knew I could never meet him because he's dead. But in my rapture, I met Bruce Lee. I saw him in a state of deep sadness. He's been in that place of torment for years. I told the monster because he is not in the torture room of the fighters. The monster said he was very famous and could not stay anywhere. So he was thrown into a celebrity place. I approached him and came close. Bruce was asking me for help so he could get out of that place because he could not bear to suffer anymore. Some demons came and began to torture him. The demons mocked him saying, show your blows if you can defeat us, you are the king of the fight. One of those demons said, I owned you not to lose the fights and you thought you were invincible. Without me, you would not be able to do all that Kung Fu moves. I made you jump high. That demon started punching Bruce Lee and threw him into the air until this demon broke his bones with several kicks. Bruce lay on the floor groaning in pain and the flames left the floor and burned his body. Before my conversion I liked him. Here in Asia, it is normal to have Bruce Lee as an idol. Martial arts are part of our culture. The monster said, everyone who practices martial arts is ours. Buddha, and those who do meditations to the Buddha and loves the Buddha is going to hell. The monster said, if it depended on me it would never reveal our works on earth. We were forced to reveal our plans, now tell the Christians all this on earth. Many souls of your country will be saved because of these revelations. The monster came out from in front of me with much anger, fire coming out of his nose. The angel of the Lord came to rescue me. He went down to hell and got me out of there. I had never seen an angel and marveled at the light coming out of his body. The angel took my soul to the house. I was back to earth. I am in Denmark doing the work with the missionary. I intend one day to return to my country and fight against Buddhism in Malaysia. Buddhism preaches that there is no absolute God. I can say that Jesus is absolute. Buddhism teaches that we can go our way. We have to follow as the word of Jesus. Buddhism believes that man has no value and believes in reincarnation. A man has value for Jesus. Reincarnation does not exist. No one returns to earth anymore.